In this video, I'm going to show you how to manipulate your primitive that you've added to your 3D scene. We've already talked about how you can use some of the icons over on the left in order to change the scale, the rotation, um, as well as the, um, the position of your actual object in your 3D scene. So clicking on any of those over to the left, one, you have your move, which is going to allow you to move on the Z or X and Y axes. You also have your rotate that will allow you to rotate your primitive. And then you have your scale, which you're able to scale any of these sides, either ununiformly or use the middle in order to scale it uniformly. But you also have the ability to edit your faces, your vertices, as well as your edges. So at the very top, you have this toolbar to the left. And <clears throat> if you select the whole primitive and you see that it's outlined in orange, then you're going to be on this first icon here that is shaded fully orange, allowing you to know that you have selected that full shape. If you want to select just the faces, then click on the one that's next to it, and this is just the face select. So in face select, I can use my finger or my Apple Pencil to simply click on any one of the faces here. If you want to select multiple faces, there's two ways that you can do it. Down at the very bottom left-hand side of the screen, you have two icons, one that is a hand and then also one that is a lasso. The lasso will allow me to kind of draw any type of area or a lasso around any area to select those and you can see what you selected by the kind of highlighted orange uh, areas that you've of course wrapped the lasso around the hand tool i particularly like because it gives you a little bit more control i'm able with the hand tool to be able to select a row or more than one more than one of these squares and to get it a little bit more precise you don't want to lift up your Apple Pencil or your finger while you are making your selections. So go ahead and highlight everything that you want and then simply let go. And you can have a more detailed, more precise, probably better word, more precise selection uh, for your faces. Same thing for your uh, edges and your vertices. So if I wanted edges, I'll select the next one. And you see it's already kind of kept that selection from the faces that I wanted. But it's also the same thing here. Using either that hand tool or the lasso, I'm able to make a selection of multiple uh, edges in my, in my primitive. And then lastly, you also have your vertices, which work the same, being able to allow you to make those selections. So you want to use this bar up at the top in order to either select your full primitive, your faces, your edges, or your vertices in order to manipulate them.